Anyway. You, you say what's pretty much is on your mind? Yeah, it's, oh, boy, you'd call Moses Rentajaw, I would call that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, oh, I, I lost a dear friend once, someone I absolutely adored, because I told her over the phone one night that she had the face of a pig. And I, I didn't mean it not that a, way. Not a good move. Well, and then the Why thing... Why would you tell oh, your best friend she had the face of a pig? I, it was, what I thought it was was constructive criticism. <laughs> time was oh she can't do anything about that well, you could have <laughs> you could have phrased it a little bit differently i uh, could have like I jimmy have. dean would like you <laughs> you know so you don't have to be I, so <laughs> i didn't know jimmy dean oh, I see. Oh. jimmy dean would like anybody right. <laughs> so oh god has she it ever was talked awful. to you since then she's never talked to me since then pam lewis i love you very much i just i have to i've never spoken to her. i loved her and she was really my best friend she never oh, called me again bad. it was awful that's too bad but anyway my daughter Back to Mr. Heston. Was she a little porky looking? <laughs> Actually, she was. She had a very strong and quite a wonderful face, but it was very hard for dumb people like me to understand it. You know, I think it's the kind of a face that you grow into, and oh, God, it's not going to work. Okay. It's all right to speak your mind, but it can get you into... It gets you in a lot of trouble. You lose a lot of friends that way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break here. <laughs> what was that girl's name that had this... Oh, don't <laughs> do that to me. That's not fair. Oh. And now she won't talk to me for the rest of my life because oh, now I no. mentioned it on The Tonight Show. No, no. <laughs> she's, she's probably watching from Penn somewhere. <laughs>